Hi, and welcome to Aiken Adventures. Where we're taking you to do all the best things in all the best places all around Florida. There are so many things to eat on International Drive that you are only going to have a hard time trying to decide when and where to go. There are more restaurants to choose from than you would possibly have time to do in a week. So what we're going to do is give you our top picks for our favorite restaurants on International Drive. Now, obviously on International Drive, there are all of the different chain restaurants that you can imagine. But if you're like me, then sometimes when you're on vacation, you just want something a little bit different. And International Drive is a really great place where you can combine some of the experience with good dining. Now be sure to watch this video all the way through because we have a bonus set of restaurants at the end of the video. And if you're gonna visit Orlando, you may as well stay on property at Disney Resort. The best way to do that is with DVCreservations.com, who is the sponsor of today's video. DVCreservations.com offers easy on-site rentals to all of the Disney Vacation Club resorts at a steep discount. If you're a Disney Vacation Club owner, list your DVC points painlessly in seconds while choosing your own price. The website features an interactive availability calendar and multiple tools to help you easily book your Disney vacation. The team at DVCreservations.com is always excited to make the magic for you. Please, please! Yay! Coming in at number one on our list is Senor Frogs. And if you're a follower of Bacon Adventures, then you know that we like a good Mexican meal. So colorful in here. There's so much going on. Definitely a kind of place that we like. Now at Senor Frogs, there is obviously a great menu selection. It looks like that on the menu, there are several things to choose from in the appetizer section, which would be large enough to feed a whole family. But we like that the wait stuff dance. Coming in at number two on the list is Oreganadas. We would consider this restaurant a hidden gem on International Drive. What's really cool about Oreganadas is that it is an affordable, all-you-can-eat Italian buffet. For now, I got a salad. It looks really great. There are different kinds of olives and some different kinds of bell peppers. The dressing that I got was what I can only assume is a house Italian dressing, and it's totally legit. It's really good. And what I really like about it is that it's not just a pile of pasta that's been set out and uh, that just piles up and you kind of put your toppings on it. Instead, you can kind of pick out the pasta that you want, the sauce that you want, and the toppings that you want, and then they'll heat it up in a saucepan right there so that it has a nice fresh flavor where all the flavors have been blended together. It's very authentic. And also, there is pizza on the buffet as well. All right, so I have pizza, and then I have pasta with meatballs, and a couple of little cheese pastries. Baby, what'd you get? Next up, we have another really great pick. At number three, it is Hash House A Go Go. This is home cooking, but with a modern twist. One of the things that we find to be kind of difficult to find in Florida is um, like a home cooked, home style meal. Yeah, like a meat and sides kind of place. Venue is pretty much like breakfast brunch. So hashes and egg scrambles and some sandwiches things like that, breakfast type items. And then they also have like main meals, um, like pot roast, skillets, salmon, things like that. Price range looks to be about between 15 and $20, which is average for um, International Drive. So it sounds like that they're best known for their chicken and waffles, but we're looking for something a little bit lighter than that. So that's not what we're having today. But if you like chicken and waffles, apparently this is the place to come. Okay, I got this spicy chicken sandwich and a side salad. And I don't even remember what this well, what this is called, but there's some chicken in here and some bacon and like some mashed potatoes and asparagus. It was a chili chicken something. Coming in at number four on our list is the Boston Lobster Feast. Now the Boston Lobster Feast is actually a pretty cool experience. It's a whole seafood buffet. What did you get? Oh my goodness, it's truly a feast up there. I got lobster and prime rib and shrimp and salmon and sushi. 
guys. I'm ready for it. So I got the London broil right here on top, and I got some uh, crawfish, like a whole bunch of crawfish. There's some sushi under here somewhere, and then I got the tuna steak and the uh, mahi mahi. So, oh, I dropped the shrimp. I guess I'll have to go back. <laughs> and then, of course, this guy. He's my new friend. I'm gonna eat it. Personally, even though lobster is the namesake of the restaurant, I didn't think that their lobster was really the best. And I don't really know how to describe why exactly. You can taste it and decide for yourself. But the London broil was totally worth it. And there are lots of other really great selections on the buffet. The best part about it is it's all you can eat. And it's worth trying at least once. Now we've made a video about this whole experience on our channel, so you can look for that in the link in the description below or in the card above. Coming in at number five is the Pirate Dinner Adventure. Now this is obviously quite different from the other things on the list, and quite honestly, it's not really a great place for a good meal. The food is quite bland, and it's cooked in huge quantities to feed everybody in the arena. You come for is the show. And it's a really cool show. The show is set on a giant Spanish galleon, and the tank that surrounds it is more than 300,000 gallons. There are acrobatics, and there's a whole storyline and plot that unfolds before your eyes. Every section of the arena is divided into a team, and you get to shout when it's your turn for your team to get the victory. The climax of the show is when Leviathan springs to life, and all of the pirates have to fight him. We watched the show more than a year ago and Vivian still remembers it even though she's three years old she was only two at the time she loved it on international drive is really kind of a cool thing and it's sort of a surprise there is the world's largest entertainment McDonald's now this McDonald's is so much different than any other McDonald's you've been to we can guarantee you that of course it has the traditional McDonald's menu but at what other McDonald's would you get a cheesecake or pizza have pasta. If you'd like to know more about this restaurant, we actually did a whole video about it. You can find that link in the description below or there's a card just above. Okay, and we have to admit a guilty pleasure. This is actually our favorite restaurant on all of International Drive. And actually, after you hear this, you'll probably discredit everything else that we say, but we actually love CC's. <laughs> Vivian's face. All right, Vivian, your turn. Tell us about your pizza. I'm going to my pizza. I'm going to I just love the buffalo chicken pizza. And the macaroni and cheese pizza. I got pizza. It's just, Mmm, cheese bread? And cheese bread. No, but really, what's your favorite? I like the spinach pizza and the white sauce pizza. Vivian even loves CC's. She likes all the different kinds of pizza. Pizza. <laughs> Another pizza. I got the... But mostly she just likes going around pretending like she's playing the arcade games. She always begs to play in these little arcades, but I mean, you have to have money. So I don't know. I think she's starting to get old enough where she realizes you have to have money for them and she's starting to ask. But right now she's just running from game to games. Now, obviously, this is a very subjective list, but these are our favorites. If there's something that you like that you find we've left off the list, then make sure to let us know in the comments below. <laughs> you can't have my food, you gotta eat your own. Can you do it? Paper. What's that? The paper. You want to cut the paper? Yeah. Oh. Ah, don't get my ears. No, no. Ah. Oh, that actually kind of hurt. I'm gonna get your nose. Oh, Vivian. What you got, Viv? I got some brownies and some rubbers and some pizzas. Is it tasty? What you got? I don't want to be Okay. Hi, this is Anthony and Elena. 
If you've enjoyed this video, then we invite you to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon as you follow us for all of our adventures around Florida. Thank you.